Hi, it's Mai, and today I'm going to be doing a, a q and A. I'm just going to be answering random questions that um, are on my uh, Ask account. And by the way, if you want to ask me questions yourself uh, from Twitter, then you can, and I'll answer them on my next uh, Q and A uh, video. Okay, the first question. If you could invite anyone over for dinner, who would you invite? Oh. Are we talking celebrities, or are we talking, like, friends I haven't seen in a while? Uh, okay, if we're talking celebrities, it would be, it would have to be between uh, Jack Black, um, Seth Rogen, or... Um, Dane Cook. <laughs> uh, it would most likely be Jack Black, though, because he's my favorite actor and my favorite comedian. Like, he's, he's fucking hilarious. Um, okay, next question. Which would you rather have? A lifetime of nightmare... Oh, sorry, I already answered... Yeah, no, did I answer that one? No, I didn't answer that one. I'm sorry about that, guys. Said, which one would you rather have? A lifetime of nightmares every night or a lifetime of it being almost impossible to fall asleep no matter how hard you tried or how tired you are? Oh, wow. Um, I can't go without sleep. If I go, if I go without sleep for more than, like, well... Technically, it's medically very dangerous for me not to sleep, and it's very, um, it's very awful when I don't sleep, because I, I'm not a normal person. If I, if I don't get sleep, not only do I get extremely cranky, but I also get very paranoid. I don't know if that's normal for other people, but I do get paranoid when I don't sleep. Um, now, nightmares are just nightmares. Uh, sometimes I feed into my own nightmares because... This is no joke, uh, the women in my family. Uh, sometimes we have nightmares or dreams and they're about people and they end up coming true. So, um, But, you know, I think I could handle the nightmares more than I could not getting sleep. Because medically, uh, not, me not getting sleep is not good for me. So, I think I'd rather handle not getting, uh, handle getting more sleep and having more nightmares. <laughs> okay, next question. How do you handle tickling? Oh, God, no. That's a, that's not, it's not cute. It's not funny. It's a quick way to get a kick in the teeth. No. No. I will, I will punch you right in the teeth. No. Don't tickle me. I, I hate being tickled. Okay, someone asked me a question. Well, not a question. Somebody said, good morning. Well, good morning to you. Uh, how do you usually discover new music? Well, this is actually an interesting one. Uh, I go, well, what I do is, um, like, for example, my favorite uh, TV series is Smallville, which I do this with other uh, TV series, uh, every other TV series. Um, like, um, like, if I hear a song... On a, like, for example, I've heard a bunch of songs on Smallville that I like, and if I hear a song, I'll go to a small, I'll type in Smallville Music Guide on Google, and it'll have a list usually. There's this site called Cryptosites, and um, it will give you a list of all the music that's played during the, uh, during the episodes, and what, uh, scene they're played through, and what episode, and what season, and it's actually really useful, uh, Smallville has a lot of good music, uh, on it, uh, I also like some of the music on, um, m uh, certain movies, but usually that's how I discover new music, um, or YouTube, do you love your dogs, I don't have any dogs, um, now, I'm not really a dog person, but I do, I, I like all animals, As I, obviously I love all animals, I'm a vegetarian, and I'm an animal activist, I, I love animals in general, but when I say I'm not a dog person, it's nothing personal against dogs, it's just that I have anxiety, and I can't stand, I cannot handle sudden excitement, like I can't stand that, 
like heavy breathing. Sorry about that. I know that was weird. I can't stand that heavy breathing in your face and I can't stand that jumping on you all the time and like getting riled up and it just like that kind of movement and that much like um that that much excitement just all at once just bothers my anxiety and I just can't handle dogs. Like they're not bad animals. They're just not right for me. Like they, I I love dogs, but I can't I for for me I just don't, like, like I'll pet them, but just go back over there, <laughs> go back over there, I, I like, I'll pet them if I see them on the street, or I'll pet them and play with them if they're at my family's house, it's so cute and lovable, but then go, go back to your owner, because uh, you're not going to my house. Now, the reason I like cats is because, um, the reason I'm a cat person is because cats usually, like, cats have their crazy moments, don't get me wrong, but cats usually when they, um, they have their own mo moments and they have their own personalities, but cats usually, they will, <coughs> I'm sorry, cats usually they will cuddle with you, they'll sit with you, they're very calm, uh, they're very, um, quiet, uh, they're, they're very sweet, uh, like, they're just, they're good for people with anxiety, they're very calm. And they're very, they're very calming. They, they keep, my, I know cats keep me calm. Every time I've been around a cat, they usually just keep me calm. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm a cat person. <laughs> um, next question. Why fairy tales, why are fairy tales told to children? That's a weird question. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's to give them like a sense of hope and excitement. It's to help them dream more and to uh these are some weird questions by the way sorry <laughs> um I guess it's to give them more hope and and like like tinker with their imaginations and stuff like that because when you're so young you really want to help with their you know imaginations and thought process because some children like all children have the potential to be very smart but some children just catch on more and if you work with them uh, you can very well see their intelligence level. So, fairy tales are very good for children, um, in that sense. Is If that makes sense to you guys. Um, next question. What's something you are not very good at, but enjoy doing anyway? Um, let's see. I really, uh, let's see. Well, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm not good at it, because I'm actually, I'm pretty good. But when I compare myself to my friends, which I know that's a bad habit, when I compare myself to my friends that can draw and my friends that are artists, like, I, I sit there and think, well, I thought this was a good drawing, but I kind of suck. But, I mean, when I get, I like art, and I, I love art. Some art I'm really good at. I've always been an artist. That's why I'm a photographer. It's a very fun form of art. Um, well, I'm... Well, I guess I could qualify myself as not real. I'm excellent at photography, but I'm not really good at drawing so I, uh, or painting or anything like that. So I guess, like, um, compared to my friends. So, I'm, so I guess uh, art would be something that I'm not really very good at when it comes to hands-on stuff. Uh, but it's something that I very, very much enjoy. Aside from photography, I very much enjoy that, and I am extremely good at it. Okay, next question. Who's your best friend? Um, my best friend is my friend Megan. She's been my friend since kindergarten. We've been friends for years. I mean, to this day, I'm 25 years old, and she's 25 years old. Uh, well, she's a year younger than me, so she's 24. And we have been best friends since kindergarten, and we're still best friends. Like, I still talk to her on Facebook, and every day we play video games together online. Um, we've been friends forever. Uh, I love her to death. Like, she's so sweet. Um, do you like the band in this moment? Uh, no, people, there's people that ask me that before. And, you know... I've actually never heard of them. I mean, I'll listen to them. I'll give them a shot because I've never really heard of them. But uh, I'll go ahead and give them a shot. Um, what's your favorite type of sushi? Okay, see, you got for most of the most of you guys, you know, I'm a vegetarian. So, but I haven't always been a vegetarian. See, my favorite uh, sushi right now, where I'm a vegetarian, is the strictly all vegetable sushi, where there's rice, avocado, and 
um, cream cheese, no fish or nothing. But before I was a vegetarian and committed, I really liked the spicy crab roll. That was very delicious. Um, <laughs> I really liked that one, but right now, but now it's uh, strictly um, cream cheese and avocado. If I can get my hands on it, it's actually very hard to find that type of sushi. It says, "Would you ever?" Try the blueberry gum off of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, that's a, I don't know, that's a tough one because I'd be sitting there debating like, I'd be like, bitch, you know what this is going to do. Why are you trying to take it? Internally, I'd be thinking that and then I'd be like, on the outside, I'd be like, YOLO. And be like, I want to see what this shit tastes like. It's supposed to taste like a four course meal. I want to taste it. And I'd be like, and they, and you know, I'd end. I, I honestly, I, I wouldn't chew it. I probably wouldn't chew it. I'd get too scared. I'm very brave when it comes to like trying stuff, but like when it comes to that crazy stuff, I probably wouldn't try it. <laughs> These questions are so crazy. Do you think intelligence given more importance over beauty? Actually, to me, yes. Um, I am. Uh, this is. I know this sounds weird, but I am very. Um, sexually attract it's sexually attracted to um intelligence like that's one of my like not to get into two sexual things but like that's um my biggest turn on is intelligence if you want to if if i if i'm trying if i'm trying to make it sound basic for you basically that's my biggest turn on is intelligence um i think it's very sexy when a man or a woman is highly intelligent i think it's very attractive um just to know that they have more to offer than looks. Uh, they know things, and, like, just I, I, that's why I love it. They know things. They know how to handle things. They know, um, they just, they know all kinds of things. I, so, yeah, I think, and I think beauty is important to an extent because it gives people confidence and stuff like that. Um, but I think intelligence is m more important because to me, it's what's on the inside that counts. Now, if you're, I'm not saying only intelligent people count, but if you're not smart and you feel like you're not beautiful, which everyone's beautiful, but if you still have, but I think you still have something to offer, even if you think you don't. But everybody's beautiful. Anyway, uh, next question: Do you have a pet? Share its photo. <laughs> Uh, I have a pet, and uh, I will put a photo up in the video for you. Uh, his name is Gizmo, and he's very fluffy, and he's very cute, and he's actually pretty mean. He bites toes. Um, I can't read that one. That one's in a different language, and I don't know how to translate it. Yeah, I can't. Sorry about that. Uh, what position do you play in soccer? I don't play sports. <laughs> I have never played any sports. The only time I've ever played a sport was, well, I played sports twice in my life. And I play. I was a cheerleader when I was in grade school. And, uh, I thought I would like it, but I didn't, I didn't like it. I tried out for it when I was like seven and I was in a little league cheerleading thing, and I was like, well, it looks fun, and I was, I, I practiced a little bit, and I decided, well, I really don't like this. This is not cool, and so I didn't do it from then on. Uh, I did, however, like volleyball in high school, but I never really tried out because I was always afraid to try out uh, because the girls, like, honestly, it was more of a body image thing. All the girls on the volleyball team was really skinny and fit, and I was, like, not really skinny, and I thought I would get made fun of or get rejected, so I didn't um, try out for volleyball. Uh, if you had one word to describe yourself, what word would it be? Random. I'm very random. I will go from <coughs> I'll go from quiet to hyper as fuck in like two point two seconds. There's no in between. Uh, it's like, it's like one minute I'm really quiet and the next minute I'm shouting like the most random things or running around and just acting goofy and, and I, I'm very entertaining. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind, I'm, if I had described myself in one word, it'd be either random or goofy.
Um, next question. What do you have next quarter for two? What? What do you have next quarter for your two special? I don't understand that. Okay, sorry, I, I couldn't understand this question. Um, happiness is. To me, happiness is my daughter. She's beautiful. She's so sweet. She's so perfect. She's only three, and she knows how to count to 20. She is very beautiful. She's very smart. She knows all her colors. She knows, I mean, she knows all her ABCs. And she, she's like I said, she's only three. Like, I am very, um, I mean, I'm agnostic, but for me to say blessed, I, I'm very blessed to have a daughter like her because she's so smart and she's so beautiful and she's so perfect. Like, she just, just looking at her just makes me smile. <laughs> so she, she is the definition of my happiness. Um, what is your temper? My temper we call my temper the Johnson temper because, and, and no, I'm not, and my maiden name is Mead, but on my mom's side, they, they're Johnsons. And the reason we call it Johnson temper is because my papa, Kenny, was a Johnson. And he, it, him and me and my grand, grandma Dicey, which was his mother, obviously, um, we all had this, have the same feisty temper. My papa would be ready to fight you if you pissed him off. He'd be ready to fight you. He'd throw his cane. He was so gangster. Like, we have a very bad temper. It's, it's, um, d well, me, my temper's not bad on some things. Like, I can, I can have a good conversation and debate with people. I'm, I'm a good, you know, I'm very civil. But if somebody was to, like, push a button there's <laughs> yeah I have what we call the Johnson temper and that's not a good temper uh post oh no okay post the last picture no I can't do that one uh mind sharing what's going through your mind right now what's going through my mind right now honestly um I kind of don't want to bring the mood down so I really don't want to say what's going on through my mind right now it's not nothing too bad. It's just I'm, I'm going through a lot, and I don't want to, like, really talk about it. So <laughs> I won't say what's going on in my mind right now. <laughs> Have you done any art lately? Um... Well, I count photography as an art, and I have been uh, tinkering with my grandmother's wedding photos, and I've done that. So, yeah, I've done art lately. What gift will you never forget? My daughter. Because she is the best gift. She is beautiful and she's perfect. She's the best gift. <coughs> what things don't you share with anyone? I have one ultimate secret that I have never shared with anybody on this earth. Except for one person. And that's my husband. <coughs> and I'm not telling you what it is. But I have one secret that I have never, ever, 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 ever shared with anyone. Except for my husband and that secret will not be told <laughs> if you were married how different would your life be I am married uh, but <clears throat> and my life is different it's um, different than it was uh, see when I wasn't married I was all like my family's kind of crazy um, they're kind they try to control my life and they've always controlled my life even when I uh, when I got older and when I met my husband, he finally, you know, was the backbone. And, you know, he was the one to say, hey, you're not going to control what goes on with our life. And, you know, that's, I guess that's what makes our, I guess that's one thing that's different ever since I got married. Um, <clears throat> next question. Do you like chocolates? Yes, I love chocolate. I actually, it, it's one of the best things in the world. Like, there's two people I know that has, that don't eat chocolate. And one person, it's so sad. They are aller they're deathly allergic to chocolate, so I feel so bad for them. And two is just a weird motherfucker. Sorry about the language. <laughs> the second one is a weird motherfucker. I'm not going to say his name, but he was a friend of mine that we're not friends anymore. And he hated chocolate so bad that if he even smelled it, he would get sick to his stomach and start to throw up. And I'm like, how? How do you not like chocolate? So, yeah, like, 
I like everybody. I think everybody likes chocolate except for them too. But um, yeah, I love chocolate. <laughs> Except for white chocolate. I'm not too keen on white chocolate. I like dark chocolate and milk chocolate. I'm not too keen on white chocolate. Have you ever been in love before? I, I have been in love many times. Uh, I have. I've been in love many times. In your opinion, what book should anyone read? Okay, this is very awesome. This is a good, good one. Um, if you guys want to read any books, I suggest you read the book series called The Dreamhouse Kings. And oh my god, it's so amazing. It's a really good book. I loved it. My mom actually, the ending of the book, my mom actually cried during the book. No spoilers, but I mean, it's so amazing. You guys will love this book. It's a mystery book, and it's a, it's a thriller, a mystery. It's, it's really good. It's called The Dreamhouse Kings. Um, but I think, I think it's Ted Dierker is the, uh, author. I'll, I'll, um, fact check that. <laughs> uh, and, uh, this movie called Tennyson. It's, oh my God, the ending made me cry. It is so, it's a sad book, but it's a good book. Um, next question. Who's your favorite South Park character? Oh my God, uh, Cartman. Cartman. Hands down, because <laughs> oh my god, he's he's this little fat kid that's just so hilarious. Like everything he does is so funny. Like just the <clears throat> like my I, I gotta say my favorite scenes with him is probably the respect my authority or <laughs> I, know, I can't <laughs> that's so funny respect my authority. Okay, yeah, sorry, sorry, uh, or the one where um. <laughs> this the part where he's um trying to, that cat's trying to steal his um oh what was it I don't know I can't think of it but a cat tried to steal something he was eating and it was hilarious um how did your parents react how well how did your parents react when you got when you got low marks on tests. Actually, honestly, I really didn't even tell them my grades because I didn't do well in school. I had a lot of reason, a lot of personal reasons that I believed I couldn't do anything, so I didn't really try in school because everything was just so confusing to me. Like, I tried, but I couldn't try because things were holding me back, and it's very personal why. It's just hard to explain. So, my parents didn't know when I got a bad grade on a test. Best congratulation on BD. I don't know that one. I don't understand that question. Uh, next question. What do you love most about Autumn? Uh, Autumn. Uh, I love uh the colors. Autumn is a really good uh season for photographers like myself. Um, there's good background settings. It's good for outdoors. I I love the fact that we can wear sweaters. I love the fact that I can wear my leggings, and you know, it's just it's really comfortable. There's a lot of things you can do with autumn. Uh, what genre of music do you prefer? Um, I I like I'm not really into like a specific genre like I'm just the type of person that I have like 50 different things that I like like if I'm the type of person that if I like the song I like it if I don't I don't so yeah like I don't really have a specific song that I really like 